Some positive signs in the fight against COVID-19 in Minnesota. The health department reported its lowest number of hospitalizations for the virus in nearly a month. 198 people in critical care in Minnesota. That's a number also on the decline. ICU capacity in the state is also where it was a month ago, which Health Commissioner Jan Malcolm also pointed to as a positive. We have seen some fluctuation in those numbers, uh, but over, overall, the trend is, is toward a pretty stable uh, hospital uh, picture, and particularly in ICU. Um, so that, that is good to see. Still among the 11 new deaths, someone in their 20s with no underlying health conditions. It's another reason, Commissioner Malcolm says, they are cautiously optimistic about the months ahead. State health officials have urged protesters or anybody who went out in groups to help clean up damage or volunteer to go get tested for COVID-19. But starting today, they're making it a little easier, offering free testing in those same areas. Our Christian Cordero is live this morning with more information on some of these new sites. Christian, you've experienced this uh, firsthand yourself as you were out there with all of the protesters. I did. Yep. I got tested on Friday, Jason. It was simple enough. Went right up to the walk up at Hennepin Healthcare, uh, got my test results back the next day. Wasn't showing any symptoms. My results did come back negative. It's a similar process if you go to any of these uh, new community based testing sites, which are conveniently located near where the protests were. It's every Tuesday and Wednesday for the next three weeks, noon to 6 p.m. In Minneapolis, you can go to Holy Trinity Church, Sabathany Community Center, New Salem Baptist Church. In St. Paul, we are at Oxford Community Center, and that also will serve as a new testing site. It's not just recommended for protesters. You heard Jason say, if you helped clean up, if you helped hand out water, really anyone who is around crowds is encouraged to get one, especially given what scientists know about how this virus has affected different types of people disproportionately. Many of the folks who participated in the large gatherings were uh, people of color or indigenous people, and we know that they that the not only are would be expected to be at higher risk for severe disease because of their um, you know, greater prevalence of chronic conditions. Again, you don't need to be showing any symptoms in order to qualify for any of these tests. Also worth noting, they are free, Jason, and no insurance required. Christian, do you have to tell them that you were part of the protest? I think some people might not exactly want that recorded or want to talk about that. Yeah. Yeah, um, they are going to ask you. You should expect that they'll ask you a bunch of questions. I did get asked a bunch of questions. Um, I guess that is one of the more sensitive things about this is when you kind of loop in the contact tracing and all of that. That has made some people hesitant. But we heard uh, Jan Malcolm say yesterday that these are all necessary questions in order for them to just better understand the science of all of this and how it's spreading in our community. So um, that's obviously a personal yeah. decision if you're going to get tested or not. It's just highly encouraged. It's a medical question, not a law enforcement question in this this circumstance. Correct. Christian Cordero, thank yeah. you.